back to my YouTube channel Small Step. In my previous video, I created a smart bulb which could be controlled with a mobile phone with the help of Blink app. So, this video is the continuation of my previous video. If you haven't watched it, click right over here. Now, we'll discuss what is Blink app and how we can configure it. So now, what is Blink app? Blink app is an open source platform for IoT and it allows us to interact with IoT devices. Now, Blink app also provides us a set of a library and a cloud server. It also let us access many boards such as Node NCU, Raspberry Pi, Arduino, etc. and it is also available on iOS. Now, it is also a simpler and easier way to implement the user's interface. So now let's start with the configuration part. For doing that so just open your play store and type blink on it and then you have to download the blink app and then open it. After that you have to sign up by using your email id then an authentication token will be sent to your email id and you have to use that authentication token to the program that we uploaded in the node mcu in my previous video so after doing that too a screen will open of new project my apps and community you have to simply click on new projects then you have to just give a name to your project i am giving it home automatic Okay, so I selected it. Now, now you have to choose the device name. As we are using Node MCU for doing that show, uh, so then we have to uh, select the Node MCU. Then connection type is Wi-Fi only, and then uh, just keep uh, the theme dark or light on your TV. Now after this. You have to click on the plus button you see and then a widget box will open. Then you have to click up button. As the energy balance is only limited, you can use limited widgets only. After the energy balance is over, you have to buy the energy by using real money. So click on button. Then you have to double click on the button and then give your button a name. I am giving it smart LED. LED. Now we have to select pin as digital pin as we connected uh, the input of the relay to the uh, sorry to the digital port of the node MCU D1. So you have to select D1 over here and click on OK. I am keeping the mode of the button as push as it is simpler to operate that and then just go back. So now the configuration of the Blink app is over. Now finally we have concluded with the configuration of the Blink app. So if you like my video please do like and subscribe my channel and press the bell button to get all the notifications of all my new videos. So thanks for watching.